Does iced tea go bad? Does it spoil? Is it dangerous? Will it taste the same? Let's find out. Hello everyone, Ryan here for Steel Reviews. I've got a question that's on my mind. I'm about to put it to the test. I did a little research. Do iced tea bags, do tea bags, do they go bad? Do they spoil? Let me show you what we're working with right here. We have a date on this box of tea. Here we go. This one looks like, uh, let's see right there, it says 2004, 16, 11, 01. No, two, so 2004, maybe that's 11, 16, maybe November. 2004, it's pretty old because we're in 2022, so approximately 18 years. Uh, iced tea bags, these are the pitcher size of iced tea bags. The big boys, these are big daddies. So what I read online, what I read online is that they don't go bad like traditional food goes bad. Something to look for is if there's been humidity or moisture, mold could be growing outside and even inside of the the tea the tea bag so i cut one open just now and looked at it i i investigated i checked everything out looked like it'd be okay the one rule they say is don't try to compare the taste of expired or not by the best buy date don't try to compare that to the super freshest of tea, which I totally understand. I'm gonna really like some big old glass of iced tea. So this is a hot brewed tea, specifically uh, a blend for iced tea, but you have to use hot water for it. So I got the little kettle here. That one just clicked off. This is all gonna be filtered water that I used. So we've got the super hot water here. We've got the cool water here. I'm gonna mix the two together to dilute. Um, steep whatever the word is get the tea bag the iced tea going so i'll do that now and then we'll go ahead and taste it and we'll see what expired tea tastes like so as you can see here the cool water i put the tea bag in this water is super duper hot right here in this electric kettle we're going to pour that over it that's going to begin the brewing process and we're gonna make sure that steeps in there per the directions, which I'm not sure exactly what the directions are. So maybe it would be a good idea to research that. All right, so you learn something new every day. This says three to five minutes to steep it. So we're gonna go that long. And then if you're curious what type of tea is in some Louisiana iced tea specially blended, for iced tea, hot brew tea though. Um, it's orange picoe, pico, and pico cut black teas. So I guess they're both black teas. So, so we're gonna let that go. We're gonna let it steep three to five minutes. I'm gonna go the full five minutes. Oh, you can see it releasing. Oh my goodness, you guys. You can see it releasing. That's really cool. When you're fooling with tea, if you don't have a utensil or something, uh, and you're gonna share your tree, tea, try to be hygienic with everything you do, everything you prepare. Make sure you wash your hands really well. You know, don't have any germs and stuff because the way I do this with these big bags, you kind of have to touch them because they don't have the strings on them. So, <coughs> so yeah, just, you know, can be considerate of other people. Anyway, so let's give it that three to five minutes. We'll be back, then I'll flavor it up like I normally do. And we'll give it a taste and see uh, if iced tea expires. Um, again, it looks safe to drink because there's no mold or anything. I just hope there's still some iced tea flavor left in there. And again, we're looking at 2004. I don't know where this came from, to be honest. You know, we can have a little story time here. I'll tell you a story about iced tea and a memory I have. When I was growing up, my stepmother when I would go over to my dad's house, would always make sun tea. Uh, I don't know exactly what sun tea is, but there was always a pitcher sitting outside and they would come inside and we'd pour it over ice and drink it. And I used to hate it. And one day in my adult life, I figured out why I hated it because it was sweetened 
with these, sweet and low. And that's why I didn't like it. It's not that I'm against uh, different, you know, sugar alternatives for sweetening. It's not the case at all because I like Equal and I like Splenda and Stevia and all the different brands and types. I don't like saccharin, which is what Sweet and Low is. Saccharin is super potent, but it has a weird taste and to me, a very strong aftertaste. So that's why I didn't like iced tea for so long until I realized this was the problem. So once I started putting Splenda or even Equal is fine by me, but it's the, I'm sorry, I said saccharin. Is Sweet and Low saccharin or is, or is Sweet and Low aspartame? Man, and why did my light turn off? There we go. What is Sweet and Low? Shit, I might be saying the wrong thing this whole time. Come on. Each packet. It's saccharin. Is that what I said in the beginning? Did I say saccharin? Anyway, saccharin just has a weird bite to it. Don't like it at all. Equal, I'm fine with. Splenda, I really like. Stevia is awesome too. So anyway, we're getting close to that three to five minute mark. I'm going to let this go for another two minutes. Then we'll flavor it up together. And we'll take a, a taste test together. And I'll let you know what 18 year, 18 year iced tea tastes like from 2004 in 2022. But like I said, if you don't see any mold or mildew, you're probably going to be fine. It's just not going to taste as strong, as nice as it used to. But what we're hoping is at least it has some taste to it. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we're back. Uh, so it's been more like seven minutes. So this should be flavorful as heck. And I don't know. Some people squeeze that last bit out. Some people don't, some people do, some people don't. I do carefully because I've done this before where I get a little too aggressive and it pops. Then you've got, well, you basically ruin your tea at that point, don't you? So let's first stir it up inside of the pitcher. And then I already started because I'm working with one hand here. I've got two Splenda in there, a couple of squirts of lemon juice. Oh, I need some ice cubes. Hold on. Okay, I think now we're ready. Now we're ready to pour some of this Louisiana iced tea right here. And then we'll, we'll stir it up. We'll let it cool down a little bit with the ice cubes. We'll give it a taste. We'll give it a test. And we'll see what old iced tea tastes like. That should be nice and chilled. My Splenda should be mixed in there. My lemon juice should be mixed in there. Uh, I drink a good amount of iced tea every week. I just, I kind of love it. Not a big fan of hot tea, but I like iced tea. Let's go ahead and taste this together. I'll let you know if it's still got some flavor left in it. Mm. It's not great. I don't know if it loses some of its potency, if that's what's going on here, but it's not great. I'm also used to drinking uh, Cool Brew iced tea. I, uh, I've been using Cool Brew for the last couple of years exclusively, really. I haven't used these where you brew them with the hot water. So that could be playing a part in it too. It's, 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 it does not have a tea taste. It doesn't, kind of disappointing. Well, it, it's really cool if you made it through this entire experience with me. If you haven't subscribed at the time of this video publishing, I just did get over 10,000 subscribers, which is cool. So join the party. We're always having fun here at Silly Reviews. And it is silly sometimes, but I try to give you some helpful information and some facts. So this was some, apparently, 
2004 Louisiana iced tea. What does it taste like as it, as it ages? And in this particular case, it doesn't taste too good. I don't know if I put, I think it calls for two quarts per bag. This is where I could be wrong here. Hold on a second. Gallon size. Well, how, how much? Bring one quart, 32 ounces. That, that pitcher is two quarts and I filled it up. Add three quarts of cold water. So wait, this is way too concentrated. And it, I don't know if you can tell, but you can kind of tell that it's dark as hell. Maybe that's why it tastes weird. I need more water. But then the ice cubes kind of water it down, don't, doesn't it? I don't know what to tell you. Inconclusive. I'm not going to give it any thumbs up or thumbs down. Ryan here, Silly Reviews. Go ahead, watch another video. Uh, another one of my videos. Ryan here. Silly Reviews. Silly Reviews. Thank mm -hmm. you.